Hezbollah has broken its silence. A senior member of the group addressed supporters via video message two days after confirmation that leader Hassan Nasrallah had been killed. The assassination has left a communication vacuum that Deputy Secretary General Naim Qasim tried to bridge. He says the group is standing strong. Hezbollah. Hezbollah will continue with its goals and its presence in the field. The command system and the Mujahideen will continue following your plan, our dear Secretary General, with the same precision and the steps you have drawn up. Qasim also says that despite what he described as serious blows, Hezbollah's internal structure remains intact and a new Secretary General will be appointed as soon as possible. He reassured supporters of the resistance, along with Hezbollah fighters on all fronts, including those on the battlefield, saying that despite the killing of Hassan Nasrallah, Hezbollah's leadership remains safe and that there is command and control. But the interim leader revealed nothing about plans for Nasrallah's funeral. The Israeli military's killing of Nasrallah marks a new phase in the conflict. On Sunday night, it carried out airstrikes in the Kola neighborhood for the first time hitting an area of Beirut outside the southern suburbs. Another indication of the escalation is the massing of Israeli tanks on the border with Lebanon. Already nearly a year of fighting has been the most sustained hostilities since the 2006 war. That ended with United Nations Resolution 1701, which barred Hezbollah from operating between the Litani River and the Blue Line, the unofficial border with Israel. Israel was meant to remove all its troops from Lebanon territory. However, to date, neither side has ever fully complied with the terms. Now Prime Minister Najib Miqati says a diplomatic solution might be possible. We in Lebanon are ready to implement UN Resolution 1701, and immediately upon the implementation of the ceasefire, Lebanon is ready to send the Lebanese army to the area south of the Litani River and carry out its full duties in coordination with UN peacekeepers in the south. For its part, the Israeli government has ignored calls for a ceasefire, reiterating that the bombardment of Lebanon will continue until it's safe for people in northern Israel to return to their homes. Ali Hashem, Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.